proofs of loss of set operations so here we are going to discuss about the proofs of loss of set operations so under this we are going to discuss about the first one that is nothing but the idempotent loss so under this idempotent loss say here number 1 is of a union a is equals to a then the second one is of a intersection a is equals to a so we are going to prove these conditions under the advanced level so here we are going to prove these conditions two conditions under the element wise proofs of these idempotent laws then now so here idempotent laws under the idempotent laws say number 1 prove number 1 as a union a is equals to a and the second one as a intersection a is equals to a proof starts now so in our proof the first case that is the case number 1 is of a union a is equals to a so here we are going to prove it by means of element wise so here element wise proof then now so in order to prove this condition that is a union equals to a first of all we have to prove a union a is a subset of a as the first case and then in the second case a as a subset of a union a so here in order to prove a union a is equals to a we have to prove two conditions so those were one is of the first condition as a union a must be the subset of a and the second case as a must be the subset of a union a so under this i want to prove the first one that is a union a the subset of the a so here to prove this condition so i am going to suppose one element so here let x is an element because you are going to prove it by means of the element wise proof so i am going to suppose or assume an element that is x which belongs to the left hand side that is a union a then now that implies so x belongs to a union a therefore here that implies x belongs to a union so here we can write it as or or in other words the indication or the symbol v which indicates the union so here x belongs to a or x belongs to the second set that is also of a so here in this case so here this v indicates so v indicates or and inverted v indicates and so here based upon these two symbolic notations so i wrote this logical step so here let us write this as the note then now the next logical step will be of so here x is present in a or x is present in a so that indicates we can write only once that is x belongs to a so here then we have left hand side that is x belongs to 
A union A implies X is also present in A. It states that X is belonging to A union A set and as well as X is also present in A. Therefore, the elements of the element which is belonging to A union A is also present in A. Therefore, the A union A will be the subset of this A. The next logical step will be of. Therefore, A union A will be the subset of A. So, in this manner we have proved the first condition. So, this is the equation number 1 which we got from the first one. Then now, the second case. In the second case we have to prove A the subset of. So, here A as the subset of A union A. To prove this condition, I have to suppose one element that is x. So, let x belongs to this left hand side that is A. Then now that implies when x is present in A, so we can write it as x belongs to A or x belongs to again A itself or in other words we can write by symbolically x belongs to A or by symbolic notation as V or x belongs to A. Then now the next logical step will be of. So, that implies x belongs to A or A indicates A union A. Then we have the next logical step will be of x is belonging to A implies x belongs to A union A. Then the next logical step will be of x belongs to A that implies x belongs to A union A. So, here this indicates x is present in A and as well as the same x is also present the element x is also belonging to A union A. That means, the element which is present in A are also the element of is also the element of A union A. That means, so A is the subset of A union A. So, the next logical step, step will be of. So, here therefore, A will be the subset of A union A. So, here in this manner I got this as the second equation. So, here from 1 and 2, the first one is of A union A is a subset of A, which is the first equation and A is the subset of A union A, which is nothing but the second equation. So, from these two equations, it is clear that A union A is equals to A. So, here hence proved. Then now the second problem is of. So, we have to prove A intersection A is equals to A. So, we are going to prove by means of the element wise. So, that is element wise proof. So, in our element wise proof in order to prove a intersection A is equals to A. First, we have to prove that. First, we have to prove that A intersection A must be the subset of A. Then, similarly, in the second case, this right hand side A must be the subset of this left hand side that is A intersection A. So here, then only A intersection A will be equals to A. So here, in order to prove A intersection A is equals to A. we have to prove the conditions that is the first condition as A intersection A must be the subset of A. So, we have to prove A intersection A as the subset of A as the first case and in the second case we have to prove the right hand side that is A must be the subset of the A intersection A. So, here I am going to prove the case number 1. So, here the case number 1 is of A intersection A is a subset of A. To prove this condition, so I have to assume one element which belongs to the left hand side that is A intersection A because it is of the proof is of element wise. So, here I am going to suppose let 
x is an element which belongs to the left hand side that is a intersection a. So, that implies so x is belonging to a intersection indicates and x is also present in a. So, x belongs to a and as well as x belongs to the second side that is a. So, here that implies x belongs to a. So, here and can be written as the inverted v is the symbolic notation of and and x belongs to a. The next logical step will be of that implies x is present in a and as well as x is present in a we can write it as x belongs to a itself. Then now, so here then we have x belongs to a intersection a that is the left hand side implies. So, here x belongs to a which we got as the last logical step on the right hand side. Then now here by this it is clear that x is an element which belongs to a intersection a on the left hand side and it is also present in the set a that is elements which are present the element x is which is present in the a intersection a is also the element of the a therefore, a intersection a will be the subset of a. So, here in this manner I got. So, here therefore, a intersection a is the subset of this a. So, here let us write this as the equation number 1. Then now the second case that is case number 2. So, in our case number 2, so I have to prove a is a subset of a intersection a. So, we are going to prove it by means of element wise. So, I have to suppose one element which belongs to the left hand side. So, here left x is an element which belongs to the left hand side that is a. So, that implies when x is present in a, we can write by means of x belongs to a and as well as x belongs to a. So, here that implies x belongs to a and as well as a can be written as a inverted v that is indicates and. So, a, a intersection a. So, from this it is clear that so here left hand side. So, here then we have x belongs to a implies x belongs to a intersection a. So, here this inverted v indicates and so which is nothing but the intersection. So, here x belongs to a intersection a. So, here from this it is clear that so x is present in a and as well as x belongs to this a intersection a also that is the element which is belonging the element which is present in set a is also the element of a intersection a therefore, the set a will be the subset of a intersection a. The next logical step will be of So, here therefore, therefore, this A will be the subset of this A intersection A. A is the subset of A intersection A. So, here let us write this condition as the equation number 2. So, here from equations 1 and as well as 2, we can write it as. So, here equation number 1 is of A intersection A is the subset of A, which is nothing but the equation number 1, and the second equation is of a is a subset of a intersection a as the second equation. From these two equations it is clear that when LHS is a subset of RHS and RHS is a subset of LHS then LHS and RHS will be equal. So, here therefore, so here a intersection a will be equals to a. So, here hence it is proved. So, in this manner we have proved the idempotent class which are a intersection A is equals to A as the first one and A A union A equals to A as the second one. So, here these two will come under the idempotent class. So, A union A equals to A and as well as A intersection A equals to A.